This is so bright. What's up, everybody? Uh, today, I'm going to talk about being roped. And when I say that word, just replace the O with an A. And you will know what I'm talking about. But I'm choosing to use the word roped instead of the other word because... I am being roped right now uh, because if I say the other word, I this video won't be uh, put in the algorithms and shown to people. So there's an example right now of being roped. So I just want to talk about this because it we are all being roped uh, all the time uh, in this world at this time um, in ways where there's a huge culture of testing people's boundaries, of not respecting people's boundaries, of overthrowing people, and pushing limits of other people's security and safety and well-being. And that is, that is being roped. When somebody does that, they're they're being a ropist. And I've been really struggling recently with finding a sense of equilibrium and balance in my body because this energy is so prevalent and so constant where in my attempts to harmonize my nervous system find a sense of peace and homeostasis uh, I am noticing the constant flow of my boundaries being uh, tested, disrespected broken through and manipulated and I really haven't known what to do about it because, unfortunately, the reaction, the I mean, it's such a sad and bad and just a, it's a horrible thing that this is happening, but I have been really aware of the fact that if I return that energy with this with some sort of reaction it only uh, further magnifies it and what I've come to is this conclusion of the fact that it's rope and it's been difficult for me to come to this place and I've tried a lot of things to attempt to equalize, balance, and heal myself. And what I've found works is this perspective where I, obviously, I, I want to be a fully self-actualized adult man. I want to be strong and powerful and stable and secure and yet all of this harm that is happening comes from a version of that energy which is destructive and violent and I ask myself how do I be strong and, and, and stable and secure and conscious stand up for myself without 
you know, in the face of these, these unspeakable things happening constantly on the low level and a high level um, without reciprocating the same thing or emasculating myself. And the conclusion I've come to is to take this this concept of rope where there are so I've just found that this is what has allowed my nervous system to heal and trans transform and trans uh, transcend the this trauma and this pain that is constantly being brought to all of our experiences through energies of people who choose to test and push other people's boundaries to go beyond the 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 bubble of someone's personal space and test it with an intention of power and control and manipulation so there's two things to this so like first of all there's interacting and standing up with these things in the moment and that's like very important and very real and learning how to do that is like the ideal situation because that's when these things can be navigated in a way that is that doesn't have any long-term repercussions. But I'm focusing right now more on the fact of like, how do we heal from things when uh, this has already happened to us, when we've already been mistreated and there's already an internal uh, unrest and trauma in our nervous system through somebody uh, overstepping our personal boundaries with, through disrespect and violence. And it is a paradox, but what I have found allows me to move and balance this is to take the perspective of the fact that I as a human individual am inherently vulnerable and accept the fact that I've been roped uh, instead of living in a cycle of anger and you know some desire for vengeance or the pain uh, of feeling emasculated or like I fail to take care of myself I think that it's that it is necessary to realize that as a human we are inherently vulnerable and on a universal scale being roped is something that um happens to everybody in some way and to accept and forgive ourselves for this uh, this function of the universe that exists is what allows us to transcend and heal from it to have further uh, be able to move away from it in the moment. Okay, so what I'm saying with this, what I, what I mean is like when somebody does this, when somebody is using this energy to hurt other people or to, you know, to try and psychically, metaphysically, physically, emotionally, uh, intellectually test and push through someone else's boundaries in an attempt to gain information, power, control, 
anything without that any level of communication and interaction that doesn't come from a place of of you know common sense simple basic respect i mean it's very obvious like when someone has good or bad intentions and whenever someone doesn't uh i th- I, I mean i said this earlier but like I don't know, I, I want to make another video talking about this other side of it where it's like, how do we deal with it in the moment? Because like learning how to deal with it in the moment is how we keep ourselves safe and not be roped. But the thing is that I've just experienced over the last few months is the fact that like we're all being roped in all sorts of ways um, from individuals and from groups of, you know, large scale energies and it's very sad and wrong and painful but accepting it is the only thing that I've found allows me to make any progress with healing and moving on from it so yeah I hope I I hope I um, spoke that message out in a way that's understandable and uh yeah, let me know if you, well, I don't know. I don't really care. Uh, I don't want to. I just, I hope that this message is helpful in supporting your well-being. <laughs>